Hello and welcome back. In this lecture we're going to do our benchmarking, our audit of our personal LinkedIn profile initially. We'll do a LinkedIn groups later. So when you go to link, linkedin.com I'd like you to click on profile, just the word profile and somewhere on this page, usually underneath your lovely photo and the rest of the information is the URL, the vanity URL or the custom domain name that LinkedIn gives you. And I'd like you to write that down in the profile LinkedIn profile custom URL field so that we know whether you filled that in or not. Don't worry if you haven't done it, don't start doing it now. It's just a matter of writing it down. If you've got numbers or something that's irrelevant, we can change that later. On the right hand side, there's who's viewed your profile. I'd like you to write down the number of people who have viewed your profile in the last three days. And then the rank for your profile views, how much it's moved, what percentage in the last 30 days. So if you're using the sheet um, document that I give you, this is number two and number three under LinkedIn profile audit. So we need those three things. We need the URL and we need these two figures here as well. Once you have those, let's go up to profile and go to who's viewed your profile. And to start with, ignore this, we'll come back to it. Go to how you rank for profile views. And this number here is the number of connections you have on LinkedIn. So it's like your Facebook friends or your Twitter followers. Write that number down. This number is how you rank connections of engagement within that number. So write that number down as well. This number is your number of connections or subscribers. This is the percentage of level in your network. The next one you have to write down is whether that has changed in the last 30 days, but that's included on that front page that we just looked at. Now come back to who's viewed your profile. And what I'm interested in knowing is how many profile views you've had in the last 90 days. Then choose, not this one, it's not, if it's dot dot dot, it's not completed. Go to one of the others. I'll choose this one, I've got a bit more activity. And just make a note, the profile views being up or down, actions taken, something like engagement. So on a Facebook status update, did they click on the link? Something like that for LinkedIn. And it's saying my actions taken were, I added 13 connections or friends, I edited two positions, I shared an update. So we're looking at 16 actions taken. 38 profile views for me write yours down and make sure you've collected a whole week not one of these part weeks and that's all we really need from the profile section at the moment that'll help you get a baseline for how your LinkedIn profile is performing in the next lecture we're going to look at analytics for LinkedIn groups so I'll see you there thanks